Hey everyone! In this video, we are going to take a brief look at how to craft an ownable. Plus, we will be taking a look at the ownables demo, as it's always helpful to have a visual representation of what you're working toward. Now, this video is aimed at developers, but don't worry, we will become more user-friendly the closer we get to mainnet. So, what are ownables? In a nutshell, ownables are a new kind of digital collectible based on blockchain technology. They are designed to work with existing blockchains by adding important core functionalities to them, but they also live on the LTO Layer 1 hybrid blockchain. There is more information available about how Ownables work and what their purpose is, but for now, just remember this. Ownables unite. Unlockable content, IP protected content, dynamic NFTs, true decentralized ownership of assets, and, despite the decentralization, privacy of assets. Let's get into the more technical part of this video. On a technical level, Ownables are essentially Cosmwasm smart contracts that focus on ownership. Ownables smart contracts run directly in your wallet by using the private layer of the LTO blockchain. You can find a lot of information on the actual Ownables SDK GitHub repository or by looking at the Ownables documentation. SDK stands for Software Development Kit and since this is aimed at developers, you need either Linux or Mac for this to work. But don't worry, Windows users can download the Windows subsystem for Linux and still develop their Ownables. By the time Ownables reach mainnet, they will be able to be crafted on Windows natively. Alright, so the key parts to focus on here are the prerequisites that walk you through all of the dependencies that you will need to set up in order to start creating your own. Those are your workspace setup and the Ownables architecture. With that being said, there is kind of a high-level architectural overview we will now take a look at. It all starts with the Ownable Standard Library. This is the library that assists you in building the smart contracts necessary for the Ownables wallet to be compatible. By building these Cosmwasm contracts and using the Ownable Standard Library methods that we will provide, you will be able to build your Ownable package. That package is then imported into the wallet, which then stores it off-chain, locally, on your device. Based on these imported ownables, your wallet can issue instances of them. With those instances, you will, for example, be able to transfer, consume and delete the ownables. Let's take a look at the package itself. So, in this repository is the ownables SDK. Note that a lot of the things in here are not relevant for this demo, but if you would like to play around, I do suggest cloning the repository and seeing what you can create with it. But let's for example look at this ownable. To generate the basic package of this ownable, we can run the command npm run ownables colon build and we specify the package. Now the package just looks at the subdirectories, so we pass the name of the folder which contains the smart contract which is Potion, and we click Run. So at first we can see it generates the WASM package, and then it adds all the relevant files to that WASM package, which is then placed into the Ownables directory. So this is a package that we can now import into the wallet. We will take a look at what's inside of it later. For now, we can see here that this is the Ownables directory, and it contains the Potion.zip. If we open that potion, we will be able to see that it contains the following files. There are all of the visual assets necessary to render the file in our wallet. And that file may be anything, a PNG, a JPEG, or maybe a video. Now that we have our template called index.html, then there are schemas defined in JSON, so that the wallet knows how to interpret the available methods in your ownable. The two key files here are essentially the WASM file, which is the WebAssembly representation of our smart contracts, and the ownable.js, which is the so-called glue code for interacting with the WebAssembly binary file from our wallet, which is based on JavaScript. With these files in mind, we can now go on and test it out. For that, we are going to run the command 
npm run start from the root directory of our ownable SDK and you can observe what those commands do in the package.json. For example, start will essentially build your ownables.js and start the file. And there we go! Once it loads, you will be prompted to create an account or import an account from your seed phrase. For development purposes, there is no reason to import an account, so we generate a new one and will be greeted with an empty wallet. Now we are able to import our packages. In this menu, we have some options. We can log out, anchor the events, check out the explorers and do the resets if necessary. Now let's try to import our package. So here we have potion.zip which we just created and we can see that it has been imported. Now we can issue it and we can see that the potion has indeed been issued. On the top left corner we can access the info bar which checks the event chain of the potion. So in here we can see that the first event is the context, which is instantiate message, which makes perfect sense because we just instantiated our ownable. And we can see that this ownable is now on the testnet. In here we have the ownable ID and we can switch between the base64 and JSON representations. And this is a potion, so naturally we can drink it. Let's see what happens if we do. We consume 30% of the potion, let's consume a bit more and then check the event chain. We can see that the subsequent events have been added. The first one is from when we consumed 30 units of the potion, in here we consumed 7 and in each of these events we can see that the event chain is intact by looking at the hashes which are supposed to match and create a chain. We can see that in here the previous hash is 523y and ends with BE8 and we can verify that this hash matches with the previous one. On the right side of the ownable we have more options. There is consume which is not currently implemented for this potion but it would work with the little robot friend that is also part of this SDK. There is the ability to transfer which will prompt you for the recipient's address. We can also delete the ownable which we just did and there it goes. Alright that's it for now. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions you can always hit us up in the Ownables Discord. See you later.